Step into comfort, the art of moisturizing your feet. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of our English learning series. Today we are going to focus on an essential part of our daily routine, often overlooked but highly significant, foot care. More specifically, we will talk about the importance of moisturizing our feet. This is not just an important habit for maintaining healthy and comfortable feet, but also a great opportunity to enrich our English vocabulary about personal care and daily routines. Moisturizing our feet is a crucial part of personal hygiene and grooming. When our feet become dry, they can develop problems like cracks and rough skin, which are not only unsightly but can also cause discomfort. Regularly applying a moisturizer helps to keep the skin on our feet healthy, soft, and free from dryness. Now, let's learn some related English phrases. Apply a moisturizer to your feet. My feet feel soft and healthy. Don't forget to moisturize your feet regularly. Now that we understand the importance of moisturizing our feet, Let's go through the steps of doing it correctly. 1. Clean your feet. Always start with clean feet. Say, I'm washing my feet. 2. Dry your feet. After washing, ensure that your feet are completely dry. Say, I'm drying my feet. 3. Apply the moisturizer. Use your hands to apply a moisturizer to your feet. Try to cover all areas, especially the heels. Say, I'm applying moisturizer to my feet. 4. Massage your feet. This helps in better absorption of the moisturizer. Say, I'm massaging my feet. And there you go, these are the basic steps to moisturize your feet. In this part, Let's enrich our vocabulary with some words and phrases related to foot care. Foot lotion or foot cream, a type of moisturizer specifically made for feet. Massage, rubbing and kneading of body parts with hands. Absorption, the process by which one thing absorbs or is absorbed by another. Hydrate, to make something absorb water. Cracks, narrow openings or fissures caused by dryness. Rough skin, skin that is not smooth due to lack of moisture. Try to use these words in your daily conversations about personal hygiene and grooming. This will not only improve your English but also make your discussions more engaging. That's all for today, folks. Remember, personal hygiene is not just about looking good but also about feeling good and staying healthy. The same goes for learning English. It's not just about knowing words and phrases, but about using them effectively in our daily life. Moisturizing your feet is a habit that combines both these aspects. So let's step into comfort and make our language learning journey a smooth ride. I hope you found this video helpful and see you in our next lesson.